Okay, time to start pressing the crap out of her to see if something happens. So, the, the murder happened exactly like Juniper's mock trial script. Oh, whoa. Whoa. There must be places where the script and this case diverge. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. That kind of stress will give you wrinkles. Objection! Whoa, objection! I'm not worried. My skin is fair as a skin a silk. Ah. Huh. Indeed, you are quite fair. Very desperate. <laughs> oh my god, seriously. Objection! Objection! What did he just say? <laughs> uh. Black will really turn that one around on you. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Hurry up and think of a clever comeback. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Easy there, Athena! <laughs> now, you listen to me. The two cases do indeed have their differences. For one, the stage hadn't yet been erected in the mock trial script. In the actual case, there were signs indicating the wrist victim's wrists had been bound. But such differences pale in comparison to the host of similarities. In any event, replicating the crime without knowledge of the script is an impossibility. I won't be passing this off as a coincidence. What a total burn! Try again, why don't you? Pot of woods! Oh, shut up. Up until the mock trial began, only Professor Court and Juniper ner knew the script's content. Hold it! Somebody could have stolen a peek beforehand! I don't think so. I mean, I tried any number of times. Shame on you, Miriam. But that crafty she-devil, Juniper, has eyes in the back of her head. What chance does your average person have if an undercover reporter like me failed? Interesting point. Still... Miss Scuttlebutt... Won't you get in trouble later for admitting such underhanded, underhanded tactics? Why you? I plead entrapment! How is you blurting out your own crime entrapment? <laughs> but you haven't scooped me yet! They were all set to use Juniper's script! Professor Court's sudden decision not to use the script sparked Juniper's murderous rape. HOLD IT! How do you know the, that Professor Court wasn't going to use her script? <laughs> there is an art room where the heinous, heinous crime took place. An envelope marked use and Miriam Scuttlebutt's script were found. Evidently, the script that was going to be used belonged to the girl in the box over there. Psst. It's only natural that my script would be accepted and hers rejected. I introduce all sorts of barren new concepts, including bribery and fake evidence. It was a cutting-edge script portraying a courtroom battle in the dark age of the law. I can't help but feel Professor Court went out of her way not to use it. But Juniper, she used some devious underhanded tactics to get her script chosen. That's why her script and not my masterpiece was used in the mock trial. Will you stop complaining about your script not being used? You sound like a second place whiner. How's that? For an explanation, it's a bullcrap explanation with you doing nothing but whining. Juniper has to be the killer. She has a motive, and the murder is just like her script. Hold it! Hold it. Anyone?
anyone who saw the mock trial could have recreated the crime. After they saw the mock trial, they could have easily staged the body just like the script. Objection! Where is the trial which pits Hawk against Canary? Objection! What did he just say? <laughs> if he's so weary, he should try moving less. I bet that saves some energy. This is no time for jokes, Apollo. He just called me a canary. Don't let him get to you. At least canaries pick up on things quickly. Just like you. I shan't repeat myself. So listen carefully, Sykes don't know. Hugh O'Connor discovered the body before the mock trial be even began. How could one stage the body as it is in the script before anyone knew its contents? Gah, that's right. Do you even fathom the intricacies that go into staging a crime scene? No, I think not. You have that rudimentary mind of an elementary school child. Hey! Elementary school? Seriously, you took a picture of that? Reporter's testimony throws attorney Athena Sykes for loop. The perfect caption! <laughs> How marvelous! A photo in the newspaper is just the thing to boost your brand. In a school paper? Seriously? Judge, I thought you detested cameras in court, like in that one case with a lot of heart, when I wasn't even here yet. I believe you pressed the witness more than enough, Miss Sykes. Shut up! <laughs> Humph. Now do you see how clear-cut my case is? Take it now, and in that fair, desperate mind of yours. Etch it deep so you may never forget! No! No! Even my arguments get thrown back in my face. It wasn't supposed to be like this. What am I going to do? Athena. You should just about have all the answers you've been looking for now. Huh? Think about it this way. If the killer knew the details of the mock trial, would they really commit the crime in the exact same way? THAT'S WHAT I'VE BEEN SAYING SINCE YESTERDAY! I don't... I don't follow. Try to place yourself in the killer's shoes. I bet you'll discover an inconstance inconsistency if you do. Ah! I get it! Thanks, Apollo. Miss Scuttlebutt, just so we're clear, you're claiming that the killer intentionally made the crime scene look just like it was in the script? And that it is beyond the shadow of a doubt not a coincidence? Is that correct? No, duh! After all, it's just more evidence of Juniper's evil she-devil ways. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! <laughs> what I say? What did I say? Our clients made the crime scene look just like the script. Something known only to her? That would be not just foolhardy, but completely irrational. What do you mean? Yes, Miss Sykes. Please, tell this court what you mean by irrational. It wouldn't... It wouldn't make any sense if for Junie to mimic her own script on purpose because it would... Mean leaking the script, make her the culprit, not be possible. Um... None of those are funny, so... They don't interest me, so I'm just gonna say it's gonna make her the culprit. The murder scene was the same as it was in the mock trial. 
that in and of itself is in irrational. <laughs> What's wrong with them being the same? Yes, Miss Sykes. Care to explain what you mean? Okay, let's say for argument's sake that Miss Woods is the killer. If so, then... What reason would she have to intentionally make the actual murder scene mi uh, mimic her own script? That's easy! She was admitting that she was the... Ah! That's right! If she had really done that, it would have been like proclaiming to the world that she was the killer. So what we actually have here is evidence of someone trying to frame our client. Which is what I've been saying for how long now? <laughs> Jeez. The body was found the day of the mock trial. In short, the day the details were revealed. So it wouldn't be completely inconceivable for the murder to go exactly like the script. Let it go to your head just yet! Objection! Hmm. I would seem. Justice Dono's comrade in arms has finally drawn out her so sword. However, the blade is dull, and it shall remain so until you master its use. <laughs> Enough with your stupid sword metaphors already! There is a perfectly good reason for the inconsistency of which you speak. R reason What reason? Must I spell everything out? <laughs> you are what you pe people today call high maintenance. Seriously? You're gonna use the high maintenance argument? The accused had intended to stop the mock trial. And in that event, nary a soul would have been the wiser to the similarities of the case and script. Objection! No! The mock trial was only stopped after the body was accidentally discovered. Objection! Hmph. Our witness here had also discovered the body. In fact, she was led to our dearly departed professor by the accused herself. What? Miss Scuttlebutt saw the body too? Precisely. And with that dis with the discovery of the body, the mock trial ought to have been cancelled. Why is everyone discovering this body before we discovered it? I mean... Let's see. We have, um... We have what? Let, let's go to the court record. We have Hugh O'Connor that discovers the body. And now we have Miss Cardboard Box uh, discovering the bo body as well. Who else discovered the body? Because... Remember what Phoenix said? He said he wanted to, like... He wanted to check the body out and stuff before anyone else got to the scene, just in case of someone trying to plant stuff. So there's something going on here. We need to get to the bottom of this, is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Wait, so you didn't call the police? Nope, I kept it secret for my big scoop! You can't do that! I made her pay long and hard penance for her sin. Did I not, my little box top? Cack, cack! Compared to the work of war correspondent, the sheer terror of that was... <laughs> Jeez, I wonder what that twisted samurai did to her. Lock off all her holes in her box and spin her like a top while Detective Fulbright cackled in delight. <laughs> just, just imagining that is pretty hilarious. <laughs> 
That sounds more nauseating than scary. Enough jabbering! Witness, continue your testimony! S sure thing, Mr. Samurai! I'm ready to finish off that she-devil! I snuck into Juniper's dressing room while everyone was in the lecture hall. Juniper had changed her into her stage costume. I asked her, what are you doing? When suddenly she fled into the hallway as if she wanted me to follow her. I followed her all the way to Professor Gore's body. She led me right to it. I'm positive it was Juniper because she was wearing that costume that she had made. Hold it! Why did you hold with... Why did you withhold such a key testimony? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Athena, you haven't even started your cross-examination yet. I know, but her testimony points to her as being a potential suspect. Well, I don't think Prosecutor Blackquill is... No, wait. I bet he's already thought of that, actually. The witness left the lecture hall to sneak into Miss Woods' room before the mock trial. That means she, too, could have moved the victim's body. <coughs> the prosecution's claim no longer has any ground to stand on. Jeez! <laughs> Just because you're mad shouldn't mean that your freaking bird should take out his rage on. <laughs> now, now, no need to ruffle your own feathers, so... When you squeak like a little brat, it agitates Taka. Do you want him to peck your eyes out? No thanks! You listen here. This The witness has a perfectly good alibi. Oh, yeah, I do! Around the estimated time of death. I was at under... I was at under... under what? I was at undercover reporter class! It's right near my home. This voice is gonna kill my voice. Oh my god. Undercover reporter class? Are you freaking serious? The proverbial. Proverbial rug has been pulled from the under you. The witness could no not be the killer. The defense must look before leaping, or at least make sure the rug's secured to the floor. I tried to warn you. Oh. Well, there ends the cross-examination. Let's allow the witness to step down. What the heck? Huh? No, wait a minute! The defense has no right to cross-examine the witness after that little spec spectacle. What for whatever man a man is sowing, this he will also reap. Uh, why can't he say you reap what you sow? Hmm, very well. If the cross-examination is over, I suppose the witness may go home. Perhaps spend some time at her lovely box and recover from today's stressful events. Shh. Don't you worry about me, Your Honor. There's no rest for the wicked, or journalists either. My third eye's always eyeing a scoop. She's always eyeing a scoop? To the trenches. Bye bye. Is Apollo gonna go? Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Not so fast, Miss Scuttlebutt. 
Apollo? There's just one thing I'd like to ask of you. Did you take a picture of the victim's body? And if not, why not? I, well, that is, no, I, I didn't take one. Well, that's strange. Why wouldn't you take a picture if you're always eyeing a scoop? Did you or didn't you really see the victim's body? It's not like I actually saw it, saw it, but... What the devil? Did you hear that, Your Honor? The witness didn't actually see the body! That completely overturns the prosecution's claim that the witness was led to it. Justice Dono, and you dare bear steal at me again! Hold it? What? 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 Hold it! S nice try, boy wonder! So what if I didn't see the body? The fact remains that Juniper led me there. Feast your eyes on this! What? What? What exactly am I looking at here? S this, it's a crucial moment, forever frozen in time, by my third eye. A photo clearly showing, showing Juniper Woods! Cack! Why did you not tell me of this? Do you want another beating? <laughs> it's a shocking scoop. I was saving for just the right moment. <laughs> and that would be now. Right here in court. Surprise! <laughs> oh boy, he's getting mad. What I do, what I do! All journalists keep their scoop secret until the right moment? She's pretty brave hiding it from Black Quill like that. Or pretty stupid. Well, this is an unexpected turn. Um, Athena, about this picture, see how it only shows the back of the subject and not the actual face? Ah, so then... Right. Who knows whether this photo shows Juniper in the first place? Objection! A completely irrelevant point. What is relevant here is... There was someone who did try to lead the witness to the body. Take a gander at this. The route by which the accused escaped. The witness pursued the accused this way. After she fled the dressing room. The accused descended to the first floor and exited to the quad. Then, what? Carton Cretton. Then I, I tripped and fell, caught my knee on the my own box. She stayed under her box even while running after someone. Sounds kind of difficult. I mean, have you ever seen those YouTube videos where those people try to run in those cardboard boxes? Kind of hard looking to do. Yeah. Recall the body was already there, for Hugh O'Connor had already seen it. She was trying to show someone the body because she wanted to stop the mock trial. Hug! But if the facts have changed, that's all the more reason to cross examine the witness. Hmm, the defense does have a point there. Very well, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Humph! It seems Justice Stonos has saved your pretty little hide, Missy. For now, at least. Phew, I guess I pulled that off somehow. Thanks, Apollo. You're a lifesaver. 
I could hug and kiss you right now because uh, I'm I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, my compliments to the witness for her very fine box. It's a primo cardboard, lovingly selected from mint among many. Tell another lie, or hide another fact from me. And I shall put it to the torch! <laughs> Better be investing in some me metallic cardboard... Metallic box instead of a cardboard box. <laughs> cack! Cack! But please! Anything but that! I think it would be more equal friendly to recycle it, but that's fine. That's just me. Seriously? <laughs> All right, Miss Sykes, you may cross-examine the witness. <laughs>